Hey everybody, it's June 4th, so this is five weeks growing in my greenhouse, which we've uh, tidied up quite a bit here, thanks to my lovely wife Annabelle. Hi everyone. What are you drinking? Vino, of course. Nice. Yeah, so we cleaned up in here too, so the floor's a little wet, but the uh, tomatoes are doing really well. Uh, so on the 30th, they were at this ring here. So it's what, uh, five days growth. Way more flowers. These guys are getting bigger. <laughs> Lots of lettuces. Mm, They're really good. It's so good. We've had, uh, we've eaten, well, I've eaten probably the last five days some off here. There was one day that six of us had stuff out of here. We're still going. Some more, uh, the colored greens are really coming up here. Uh, some broccoli that I'm going to move. Arugula is coming up. Oh, it's bolting there. I got to sing it. The celeries. Uh, this green bean from that took off last week is doing really well. So he's, I should have time lapsed this guy. So he was here on the 30th. So he's growing more and he's just staring at you. He's probably grown another foot since last week. What's your favorite smell, Dave? Tomatoes. Eau de tomate? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the roots in here. Crazy. Uh, some flowers here on the ring of fire peppers. Uh, I got some peppers inside too that are doing quite well that I'm gonna move out here. The, uh, this is the peach ghost. So it's got quite a few new leaves to it this week. Huge roots yet. Another tomato. It's coming up. More tomatoes. And this is the sucker plant of this guy. And cucumbers are really growing up. So I don't think I've shown everyone outside the greenhouse much, but I made this five years ago, just after I'd done uh, chemo, and I was wanting a bigger greenhouse, so I thought, well, I'll just try and find some cheap products, and so I found these doors for the guy I wanted 50 bucks, but then I told him what I was doing, and he just gave them to me. Uh, same with this purple door at the back that opens up so it's a big vent there some old ikea shelves up here because no one needs like ikea shelves uh i got 16 of these panes of glass so that i got seven along each wall uh two on the end and two down here and i just as i was collecting stuff i just Put it onto Google SketchUp to, to design it all. I gotta redo all these. They're not so well. I uh, just got the old uh, lighting fixture covers for up here and for the inside, which I just pressure washed again. I thought they'd last for maybe a year, but they're this is the fifth year. And then just some plywood for the bottom. I'll maybe coat it. I uh, found this guy was a, a work table that was just on the side of the road and I cut it in half and that worked well when I was just doing soil in here. So I just had a nice shelf. What do you say? Hmm? What do you say? Fire pit. Fire pit. <laughs> oh, our, 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 our crow friend came back. Uh, Fred. So it's, what time is it? Uh, just after three, I think, yeah, it's quarter after three, so all our sun is gone off the greenhouse. So it's just basically morning sun. 
but it's still enough. I've had the door open, but yeah, it's 27 in here. And then I have another one for outside, so it's 24 outside. Yeah, so things growing up pretty good. I got more stuff I've got to put in. That's a gangster. Uh, more basil here. Celery I'm going to take out, which I said I was going to do last week, just because it's already getting hard to take out the roots, and, and I don't want it to block the, the pipe. Looking forward to the tomatoes. Yes, we all love tomatoes. This guy's looking after it. No, Dave. Tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. Right? <laughs> Someone's British. Uh, so it's been a pretty good greenhouse. I don't know the total cost, but uh, the windows I got pretty cheap. I think they're about I worked out to 10 bucks each or something and I, I, when I was uh, planning out the greenhouse uh, I measured the inside and it worked out to eight and a half by 11 which is the size of a piece of paper so it was pretty easy to mark everything out uh, if you are making one make sure you do space out stuff because they get huge so I, I would have put them like right next to each other but spacing out makes sense I forget what the spacing was here, but even these are staggered. So I think there's a... I don't know what it is, 8 inches I think it was. In between. Yeah, because this is only 5 weeks, it'll get huge in here. These tomato plants were up to the 8 feet high. And I got the peas, uh, the beans, and the cucumbers. I don't think I have a pickling one in here right now. But I'm going to make pickles. And pickles with hot, with the hot peppers. Oh, they're so good. These guys can throw this bush pickle. And so he's got some feelers out now. That's cool to see. Yeah, so it's five weeks. This guy's coming up pretty good too. Oh, this is the pickling cucumber. Nice roots. Once again, this is just a crap key bucket, but I, I would go black just because I don't want the algae eating all the nutrients. I want that for the plant. And these are just uh, the three inch net cups. And then hydrogen is for these clay pellets. They re retain water and help to hold everything in place. This guy's looking good. This is the, uh, the Swiss chard. Nice. Okay, that's it. I got the air bubbles on. I got a plug in the pump again but thanks for watching if there's any questions let me know uh, happy to help out if you're just starting or if you got things that I'm doing wrong let me know all right I'll see you next week